Hi, everybody! Hello, hello, and welcome to Happy HQ! Feels like forever. Yeah, no. I've actually done a live. So, so sorry, you guys. We've missed you. There's been all sorts of shenanigans going on over here. We've had health problems. We've had snow today. Yeah, I know. It was beautiful this morning. And then um, you went out for lunch. Yeah. Came back to snow. Blizzard. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not quite. But... Well, and then <laughs> with the big black cloud and Craig was like, oh, that's very dark. I said, is it all snow? And yeah, sure enough, it came down really, really fast. Although now it seems that sun's out, so it's probably not going to lie, to be honest. Mm. Um, but we are here for a live, so we're going to get cracking fairly soon. What are you going to make today, Morgan? I am going to do a card. A little bit jungle themed. Um, I have got the adorable lion. Nice. Um, and the wild side stencil, so I'm going to have some fun with them. Wild side's a popular one. It's very good fun. Well, I think I'm going to make a Valentine's Day card and I have pulled out a couple of things here too. Let me swap you guys around to this other view. I have pulled out the Bots of Love stamp set and the Love Circuit stencil, which is probably kind of hard for you guys to see at the moment, but we'll see it in action in a little bit. And also... The Stitch Slim Line Trio and the Scallop Slim Lines because I think I'm going to go for a slim line today. Ooh. What about you? Have you made a decision? I have got A2 size. I've done a little bit of blue petering. Mm -hmm. So I've got some watercolour cardstock mm -hmm. for playing about with my Distress Oxides. Nice. And I already cut out a little grassy border for my lines. Good prep work there. I have not done much prep work apart from pulling out these products and also a piece of cardstock so this is the oyster shell cardstock and i think i'm going to go for gray and pink today oh. and i like gray and pink together what about you it's a it's a really nice color combo i think mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think so too um now before we go any further i just wanted to let you guys know you may have already seen over on our blog we've also ha had a little video here on youtube and we're talking about an event that i'm so absolutely honored to be a part of i'm going to be a speaker at an upcoming live crafting event it's online it's called the card maker success summit the top as well if you go into our profile on instagram there's a link that takes you over there so that you can register for the event um and the event is free and it's four days it's from the 17th to the 20th although yesterday i realized i said 17th to 21st <laughs> oops um and so it's 17th to 20th of february but there's also the option to buy a, an add-on it's basically an all-access pass isn't that what they call it yeah so the Let me just recap what I said there. Thank you, Iris, for letting us know about the uh, the sign. I guess I didn't trigger on the, the microphone for those screens. So I was just saying that the there's over 25 speakers and there will be um just there's just so much content. I'm making a, a get well soon card using masking. Yeah. Um and there's uh, loads of different speakers and you'll be able to watch live, you'll be able to interact with people who are watching as well as the actual presenter as well. Um, there is um, worksheets, you can like see everybody's um, products that they've used. What else? So much. So much. It's so much. Yeah. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. But I was just mentioning there that you can actually buy an all access pass if you wish. You don't have to. Um, so the all access pass gives you extra content. There's classes, there's exclusive live streams, there's 
um, loads of discount codes and things and if you follow the link so come on over either on instagram there is a link in our profile at the shop there's a link at the top of the shop as well follow that link over and you can register for free but if you go ahead and actually buy the all access pass like pretty much straight away there's like a t um, an early bird special where you can get a discount on it so i'll just bring up that graphic again for a second So you can see that there's lots of different things there. Anyway, let's get crafty. So I want to make sure that we get all everything done today. So you tell us what you're starting with and I'll check an eye in the comments. Okay, so I am going to start. I think you're going to have to come. This Good job, over. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start by die cutting my little happy birthday sentiment. With this? Yeah, with this bad boy. Okay, let me turn this around. All right, I'm going to start by die cutting some uh slim line basically like a slim line card front so i'm using the sweet scallop slim line and then i'm going to have a frame from the stitch slim line trio right in the middle here so i get this really cute scalp edge along the outside so i'm going to go for the oyster shell for my panel i think and i noticed earlier i had a big thumbprint here i've got a big oh. pink thumbprint in this but that's okay because i will just use the front side of this card instead yeah so we have got andrea here saying good morning from ohio hello ohio ohio <laughs> <laughs> and we have alice and chelsea saying hello hello bakatya Louise the colleague's here and Candy as well. Hey Candy, how's the new job going? But I want to know. Let us know in the comments. Over to you, Morty. Okay, so I have got my white shadow and I'm doing the happy birthday in yellow. So I'm gonna run them through again actually. Because he's not cut out right. Can you not come out? No. Let's try again. Sometimes it helps if you put them in a little bit of an angle. Mm. Very normal. Do you know what this is? This is because I haven't die cut anything in forever. <laughs> there might be already a die cut in, like piece in here. Yeah, there's a wee bit stuck in it. Let me just pull oh, that no. out. That's okay. I'm being foiled. Foiled again! You know, I don't think this guy will pop out. No, it's better just to go again. But when you buy the Heffy Doodle die cutting machine, you do also get a little shim. So you'll try that at a little bit of an angle. And if that doesn't work, I'll go and see if I can hunt down the shim, which yeah. will help you for any like intricate little dies. Right, so here I have got my panel. TJ Miller is saying hello from California. My on my um phone I'm looking at the comments, but they have changed the comments so that you get the smallest little space. And I made the comments smaller so I could see more comments and now I'm squinting. <laughs> I'm like, what does it say? I think we might have to grab the shim. Alrighty. So I will just pop them over there for just now. And instead, I think I'm going to stamp some lions. Oh, that was quick. A shim for you. And try that out. So, That's good, because I've never actually had to use the shim before. Neither have I. At least we've, at least we've got a... <laughs> so I have a plate. Yeah. Paper in my die, my memo tape. No, put that down first. Put that down first? Okay. Because you don't want to do cut that. onto your shim, because it will cut into it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cut onto the shim. You do not want the blade going into the shin. So this needs to go this oh, way. Yes, sorry, I thought it has it. There we go. Let me see if I can make this bigger. I've not got my glasses on, so I'm no use. You're no use. You know? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Cut out my there paint. There we go. I? And what I'm going to do to keep everyone together for my happy birthday is try and stick them back onto this bit of memo tape. That's a good idea. Except birthday has fallen half out, so let's have to catch him. Then 
Come on. Ready? There we go. Ball. I love a Gemini, but I wish it wasn't so noisy. I know. There we go. But I've got my happy birthday and my shadow, so I'm going to pop them to one side for now. Did you use banana split or is that uh, sunny side up? That is banana split. Banana. Banana. Right. So how's everybody doing? Is anybody crafting today? I'd love to know. Let us know in the comments. You've got a nice scalloped background and a matted air layer on here. And I'm going to add my... Love Sir Pencil right on top of here. I'll line it up on my mat. And uh, secure it down with a little bit of tape, I think. Candy says, not yet. I'm at work all day tomorrow, though. And he's got big plans. <laughs> what are you doing this weekend, Morgan? Uh, we are helping my parents move. Helping your parents move house. That sounds exhausting. It's going to be a busy weekend. <laughs> Definitely going to be a busy weekend. Where is my... That'll be good because I can see the chihuahuas. Tell everybody about the chihuahuas. What's their names? So my mum and dad have got two chihuahuas mm -hmm. and they have Toby and Barney. Mm -hmm. And they're the funniest little creatures I've ever seen. <laughs> I, I think chihuahuas are full of personality. For what they lack in size, they definitely, definitely make up for in personality. <laughs> they're wee characters for the two of them. I'm sure Ranger wouldn't be very impressed by their antics. <laughs> One of Piper's little school pals has got um, three chihuahuas. Um, three? I know, it's selfish. Maybe the eyes in the back of your head for that. <laughs> One is called Bert, and Bert is scared of like everything. Scared of the wind. Like just any sort of noise, he's petrified. So very often if I go down to school, drop off, I'll pick up, I'll see them, but they'll only have the two chihuahuas with them. It's like, where's Bert? Bert was too scared to come to. Oh, <laughs> yeah. poor Bert. I know the feeling. <laughs> oh, Pam, Stellar Crafts says, I love my chihuahua. Oh, what's your chihuahua called? Yay. And uh, TJ says, I'm going to practice my watercolour at lunch today. You know, actually, I sat in bed. Oh, what? I keep forgetting about this. We're forgetting about these. We've not done a live in so long. We're out of practice. Um, I actually sat with my watercolours in bed last night and did some watercolouring. Good fun. I've been uh, learning to master the art of the Copic marker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You got Copics for Christmas, didn't you? I did, yeah. So I've been... Uh, I found out there's a Copic app. Oh, really? And you can actually bookmark all of your markers on it. A really so, good and then you can also add them to a wish list. That's also a good thing. <laughs> yeah, so there was a lot of uh, adding to the wish list. <laughs> yeah, that's sadly the way it goes. Marcy says, Hi, Leslie and Morgan. Hello. Hello. Marcy says, Great names for Chihuahuas. And Candy says, I'm doing the staycation with Bruce Monroe at the end of the month. Oh, amazing. And a few attendees asked for ink comparisons. So I'm going to swatch those and then work on some spring projects for Valentine's. Oh, you are going to be busy tomorrow, girl. Absolutely. Pam says, I joined at the right time. The Chihuahua chat time. <laughs> <laughs> How's your little lion getting on? We're getting there. I had to stab him a few times to get his little face nice and crisp, but... We got there. Be lovely. I am working this sponge sugar because it's very light. And in fact, I think I'm going to have to darken it up a bit with a little bit of warm lipstick. 
color of my hoodie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, was it not? Your hoodie, it's like people like I think people are gonna need sunglasses for your yeah. hoodie. <laughs> so you're not you're not gonna lose me in a crowd easily. No. Well, that was kind of the point, wasn't it? Yeah. We wanna get something in where if we're at a convention, I can be like, Oh there she is. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> TJ says, I love the wish list. And also ask, what's the surfaces you're working on? Morgan, do you want to take that one? So, these bad boys are the Waffle Flower Media Mats. Mm -hmm. And they are super, super good for crafting onto because you can pretty much wipe whatever off of them. They're silicon mats, so they're really flexible. And you can't see on this camera, but there's actually some paint palettes in there as well. Yeah, like little wells, paint pet well type things. So you could use them if you wanted to, but I don't. We don't tend to use them really. No, I actually just prefer if it was open. Ta -da! Ta -da! Okay, I'm totally off screen. Let me try it again. <laughs> I feel like I'm massively off the screen, and you're like on the edge. Oh, who set up the camera? Oh, I know. <laughs> Whip. Mm -hmm. That was the plan. <laughs> <Was not. laughs> that was an unintentional. Stealing the thunder, was it? <laughs> okay. Over there for now. So I've got my love circuit. Oh, there's the snow again! Oh, no, it's go away! Back. I don't want to have to scrape my windscreen no, before I go. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Ranger. <laughs> yeah, it'll be good. It can snow overnight when I'm inside and it's in your pajamas. Me, and then it needs to melt before I was supposed to, I don't, don't have to get up for work tomorrow. No, but you do have to go and help your mum. You don't out. just really want to be traipsing well, through like the cars back and forth. I really you have hope, the door open. I hope be... the roads are okay though, because I know um This will be another Mum, I'm sorry, I can't come. After the, the last excuse that you had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good excuse though. <laughs> But uh, yeah, the road was actually shut the other weekend because of the storm. Oh, there's always something. So uh, I'm convinced it's just ill-fated. They're apparently not supposed to move. I think so. <laughs> Are you sad about them moving? Was that the house you grew up in? Yeah, I don't know. I like. I really like their new house, but it's a little bit nearer to us. So it saved me about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes journey time going to see them. Yeah, so that's, so that's always good. A very good thing. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I'd be a bit sad if I was like, oh, I'm never going to see this house again. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I think it's the hazards of living in the middle of nowhere. I'm kind of like over it. <laughs> I enjoy living in Elgin now. <laughs> Where it's like, oh, I can just walk to Tesco. <laughs> you know, the supermarket. Yeah. I so I don't know. That was me going back to Northern Ireland after um, living in Stirling and Glasgow and didn't drive, but you didn't need to drive when you're in like near the city because there was enough public transport to get you where you needed to go, you know? The joys of public transport. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first time I went to, I think it was Glasgow, it might have been Edinburgh, my friends had to warn me that you needed exact change for the bus. Oh yeah, they get a bit janky about it. They get a bit like angry about it and everything. <laughs> Which was a massive culture shock for me. <laughs> you think, I've got money, I will pay you. And they're like, oh. Then we just won't let you on if you don't have the exact change. It's so weird. I know, it's it's a strange one. I'm just trying to pick which Copic markers to use now. I'm doing a little flatter situation down here. I'll set that to the side. Dry whilst I um stamp out some little beep boops. Beep boops, little beep boops. Please may I have the mini misty from your side? You can, yeah. That's got that snow's coming down thick and fast now. Oh no. It's got <laughs> really dark. I'm really hoping my scraper's in the car. <laughs> We can borrow our scraper. We'll not begrudge your scraper, love. <laughs> All right. 
So we have, uh, I've got some scraps of alcohol marker friendly cardstock here. I'm going to um, stamp my little dude on here using some memento ink in my go-to we wanted to ask you guys about our alcohol marker friendly cardstock so we stock it in an a5 size which is perfect for the standard it's here oh i was gonna say show the size this is the size here which fits perfectly in the standard misty uh, this is the baby one in the interest of saving space on our work surface <laughs> oh look at that snow um and um, we've had some requests for uh, a bigger sheet so we wanted to know if that's something that you guys would be interested in or do you not really care you prefer the smaller one i'd love to know your input okay so i've stamped this little guy but i'm also going to stamp a selection Of these other elements from here in particular the hearts etc and um, so I'm going to grab some pack and puller ink for this one oops well you're in coloring mode already I am but I also haven't done my background yet so I feel like I'm doing things in a bit of a strange order for oh, me it's okay you do you, dear. <laughs> I have stamped some of those little sort of metric hearts. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but anyway, let's borrow your memento and do one of these bigger hearts. Do you know what? I don't know why I was scared of Copics for the longest time. I don't know either. I could sit and just do this for hours. I know. You've been watching um, videos and things, haven't you? I have. So relaxing. Oh, it is. I find it's like a really lazy way to feel like you're crafting for <laughs> watching other people doing crafting it. Crafting vicarious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laura's here, Laura Rumble. Hello. As a Copic beginner, I'll be sticking to A5 for a while yet. Anything bigger would be terrifying. Good feedback. Ooh, actually, I'm going to maybe stamp this cog in a grey to tie in with. the uh, grey tones here but actually some secondary stamping will work just fine. Morgan are you familiar with secondary stamping? I am not, do tell me more. So what I mean by secondary stamping is I load up my stamp once like this uh -huh. mm -hmm. and then I stamp it and you see it's nice and crisp and black Yeah. and then I go straight away and stamp it again. Okay. So most of the ink's gone onto this really dark one Yeah. but then you get a lighter impression with the secondary stamping so um, it's a really good way to kind of stretch your inks because you could you could have like a blue ink pad, but then you'll get a solid blue and then a lighter blue of the same hue. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. It's a good one. Mm, what colour should his main be? The main event. I feel like it has to look quite impressive. The main? Yeah. One of these boys. All right, I'm right in a second. There's someone I need to ditch from the YouTube. So I have stuck with the Y's and the YR's to color in my wee lion. 
Y's and YR's, yeah. Good shout. It took me the longest time to figure out what YR was, though. When I was looking at the closer colors, I was like, but it's orange. <laughs> Did you figure it out? Yellow red. Yeah, <laughs> we got there in the end. <laughs> it was always the greys that confused me because it was like C and W. I was like, what does that mean? And then someone explained it was cool grey and warm grey. <laughs> and I was like, oh. And then there was T, which is apparently toner grey. Yeah, I think it's the toner grays as well. You've got the color grays as well. I only got the, to the toner grays uh, recently because they didn't do them in the little ones. I know, I've had to branch out from uh, these little the chow markers and get some of the uh, the sketch markers as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've well, been I coloring in Tooth Fairies. Oh, yes, from the Absolutely yeah. Awesome set. So I've been trying to practice doing hair and doing all the different strokes. Oh, so hair is hard. Yeah. How are you getting on? I'm enjoying it, which is the important part, but yeah. it's definitely a learning curve. <laughs> yeah, she'll be using some I'm sure. Why the colour is a little snooting? That's rude. That is rude. Sort it out. What's for dinner tonight, Morgan? Uh, I am going to make chicken alfredo. What is that? Is that a so creamy one? It's a bit like a carbonara-y sauce. Mm, yummy. Um, because I haven't quite worked up the nerve yet to try making carbonara. I, no, I, did I tell you I made a roux successfully the other day? Oh, I'm so proud of I you. Did. Look at how much that's covering our oh my God. outside. You're going to need a, you're going to need someone <laughs> to carry you to your car. <laughs> it's proper lying. Ranger, we'll need to put a sledge on the back of you. Yeah. <laughs> he won't be interested. He'll not want to pull it in the snow. He, his wee paws get all clumped up. Oh, with little, oh, little, little, little like big chunks of snow. It's kind of cute though. That's absolutely a spaniel version. Yeah. So you made a roux. Yeah. So I made I made macaroni cheese with a roux, and it wasn't lumpy. That's, that's you leveling up. I know. An adult. Uh, I used a whisk though. I feel like that was where it was. And I added the milk in slowly. That's where I was going wrong. That is definitely a key part. It was such a light bulb moment. Oh my god. <laughs> I just put little dark marks here just to darken up. But now it looks like his eyebrows and I love it. Oh, I need to see it. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, let me see if I can focus it. Can you see? I've like didn't done me a um, <laughs> curvy bit as if to, to do darken it up. It actually just looks like he's got He's raised his eyebrows in the super cutest way ever. I love him. I love you. So chicken alfredo, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Sir, please remind me to take my uh, chicken out of the fridge. HQ. <laughs> Otherwise, All I will right. not be having chicken alfredo. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing for tea? Well, last night I actually made a bit of a mission because... When we lived down in England, we had this Greek place next to us Ooh. called Greco Grill. And um, it was delicious. Ask Ranger, because one day I actually had this situation where um, I was in the crapper and I just sat down with, it was pork, pork and chicken mixed gyros. Oh, I just sat down and then um, the doorbell rang I looked out and I could see a DHL van and I went and the door in my craft room was locked from the outside so I had to like leave the craft room through the back garden into the house go through the house and I was going hey oh hi yeah here's your DHL box to the courier and by the t I, as I was talking to him I could hear this like clang and I was like what and then I was like no, I said, I have to go. And I ran all the way back through the house, through the back garden, in into my craft room. And Ranger was there going, no. and he must have knocked it because there was gear stuck to my oh, ceiling. No. <laughs> it was a low ceiling anyway, but still, it was like stuck to the ceiling. And he had devoured like probably two-thirds of it he oh. left the cabbage and like okay fair enough that was yeah I don't, I don't blame but he was all like right we must focus on the chicken and the pork <laughs> and i was just petrified that it was going to upset his wee tummy but no apparently not he keeps telling me that i should just get him some more <laughs> 
But yeah, so we really miss our um, Gyros fix here. <laughs> Are you, are you done with those? Yeah, do you want me to swap sides? Just put them in the back there. I'll get them when I look for them. Um, but I haven't really found any around here. Maybe you, you know of any mm. Greek places, I don't know. Not off the top of my head, mm. no. So I found a recipe online. I made pita bread from scratch. Oh, uh, yeah, it was really lovely. And um, I marinated some lamb that's what i was doing yesterday when her natalie came in i was trying to hack apart a lamb leg because i'd ordered i'd ordered just like a chunk of lamb yeah but then um tesco's the i guess walmart delivery equivalent had was like oh there was no fillet so we just give you this thing with on the bone so always fun i think they're having problems getting meat in the supermarkets just now because yeah. we couldn't get any chicken the other day yeah you were saying that and then I went to do my marinade and I realised that there was one lemon at the bottom of the fridge that was, you know, a wee bit past its best, but I knew I was only going to use it for the lemon juice, so it was fine. Mm -hmm. And some husband had oh, chucked it. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So he was out with the dog at the time and I was like, capital letters, bring back a lemon. It's like, I've got the dog with it. He's like, I don't care. Bring back a lemon. This is your mission. He did. He brought back a whole bag of them. I think he was probably scared of the whole cat's locks message. I don't think I've ever sent him all the cat's locks. <laughs> so I have used spice marmalade distress. The distress oxide. Nice. I made a little background there. I'm going to chuck my pencil on it. I have coloured in Mr. Mr. Roboto and I am going to, I've also coloured in some of these other little accessories so let's grab my coordinating dies and cut these bad boys out. And I made a little note card earlier and I had some left of memo tape here so I shall use that before I take any more from the roll. So you're going to use, what is that colour? I have got ripe persimmon. Do you know what? I may have already told you. But I have only just had a persimmon in the last like month. Have you ever had a persimmon? No, I didn't. I'll, I'll be honest. It took me the longest time to even realise what it was. <laughs> well, I actually had one for my lunch today because I think it could be my new favourite fruit. Yeah? Yeah. Like, that's a whole uh, statement. I know, I know. I'm absolutely shook by this whole thing because I think I've like seen them before. I actually bought some at Christmas time, but then I did the whole, is this ripe? Is this not ripe? Did mm. I leave it to ripen? And then ended up leaving it for way too long. So it was way past its best, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, so... I, yeah, I'm in a persimmon drive at the moment. TJ says, that robot is so cute with those eyebrows. I think so. Very, very cute. I couldn't help myself. I have to leave it like that. Let's cut out some of these hearts. Are you just going for the one colour, the persimmon? Are you going to do a little uh, gradient situation? Well, I picked out mustard seed as well. Oh, yeah. So I might do some splatters with that just to make it... I'm partial to a two-tone blend, but each to their own. So what is your favourite fruit, Morgan? Ooh, that is a tough question. Yeah. I think it depends what mood I'm in because I really like raspberries. Oh, yeah. But I feel like they're very like, summery. Yeah, and some uh -huh. and the thing is with raspberries, I think they can be so varied. Yeah, you can get some really nice ones, or they can be not taste of anything, or really sour. Yeah, it can be really tart. Um, I do like an apple. I tell you what, fruit I struggle with. Mm -hmm. I'm not a banana person. No, I've tried to convince myself because I know they're very good for you. Is it the texture? It's totally the texture. Yeah, I don't mind them in like a smoothie. I'll make like strawberry and banana smoothies. Piper. Piper. Um, we'll chuck up 
she has banana so we have to be very careful especially with things like smoothies because they've got banana and everything yeah um laura says i don't think i've ever seen a persimmon yet uh let alone eaten one <laughs> um and what are they like so okay i'm gonna do my best to explain this so they they they're around sort of the size of an apple um they're this color <laughs> <laughs> this color, this color right, <laughs> um, and they ha the the leafy bit at the top is um it kind of curves around it a little bit so i just chopped that bit off and the the skin apparently you can just like eat it like an apple but i have always peeled the skin but the skin seems to be sort of like you know shiny in the fact in the way that an apple would be but it's not as um not as tough so when you're cutting through it i guess it's more like a nectarine skin does that make sense so far are you all following me yeah um so it's not furry like a peach it's more like a nectarine skin and then when you cut through it it's not really like an it's not crunchy like an apple i guess it's it's almost like a well like you can get apples which are really crunchy and apples which are not i guess maybe it depends if you keep your apples in the fridge do you like your apples in the fridge well, i am a fridge person for apple yeah me too but craig likes them out of the fridge keenan so. will take a bit of both they we, sometimes go in the fridge and they sometimes don't we play the game of leslie puts it in the fridge and uh, craig takes it out of the fridge <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so but when you cut through it it's it's got a little bit of resistance i would say but then i guess it, it, i guess resistance wise it's a bit like if you had a melon that was a bit on the hard side it's that sort of resistance does that make sense uh -huh. and the actual taste itself the problem is it's a whole new taste i can't really describe it because <laughs> it's a whole new taste and did you ever see that um movie city of angels no with meg ryan and whoever it was um and one of the one of the guys was in oh i know who it was nicholas cage and he was an angel yeah okay <laughs> i know but anyway in this movie angels don't eat and so therefore he was like saying to her or oh, describe what a pear tastes like and she's trying to describe a pear to someone who's never had a pear before and so i had that sort of memory of <laughs> like how do you how do you describe something whenever your whole point of reference you know, it's that weird thing. It is. Do you know what? Nicolas Cage does some strange movies. I really like Nicolas Cage. I think he's committed to being an actor. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Well done for committing. He must enjoy it if he does it. Yeah. He's, do you know what? National Treasure is a brilliant movie. I don't think I've seen that. <gasps> you, need, you need to fix that. Do I? I think that's maybe one of his best. What, really? Mm. So I've got my back. Oh, no. Nice. Oh, there's a piper who just about gave me a heart attack at yeah. the window. <laughs> you know, you just catch something out the corner of your eye yeah. and you're like, what's that? <laughs> Bless her. Let in a child. <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm still by cutting these little things feels like it's going to take me six years i need to wait for this to dry anyway so i might assemble my happy birthday might be a good idea assemble the minions what if you die cut my line as well he's still sitting marcy says city of angels yes yes do you remember it and marcy agrees yes that would be hard to describe does it here too hello all right um, I haven't been reaching over you, but if you get a chance, would you mind putting my little stash of rubbish into the 
trash bin over there. Yeah, sure, I'll do that just now. Rather than reaching over you, I thought it would be better to try and keep my stuff a bit contained. Oh, sure, I realise I've done again. again. I've lost the dot in my eye for happy for oh, birthday. Oh, no. But I have, to, I have some other ones I can substitute. <laughs> it might be in the die. Check the back of the die. Oh, a little tiddle, the little tiddle just stays in there. <gasps> oh, it is! Yeah. See? Secrets. Secrets of the Crafter! Right, I'm going to put the other bit in the bin and then put that dot on here so we know where it is. Good idea. And um, your grass, are you adding a little bit of ink to it or are you just going to... I probably could, yeah. And who, I think you probably said, but I missed it, who is this card for? Well, I haven't decided yet. Okay. Because it's a bit cheeky of me. I'm actually running late with a couple of cards now at this point. So... <laughs> I thought I would just have some fun and make some cards and then decide who suits, which one suits the uh, the recipient the best. I think that's a really good idea. Oh, just go with the flow. Marcy says those little tittles get away from you. I agree. Oh, he's on my memo tape now. He's not getting anywhere. Yeah. Hopefully. What do you use your memo tape for? To catch my tittles. <laughs> Stop them from running away. Right, I'm missing a die. I used a little bit of Goldie Birch, I think. And actually use this bit of scrap card to apply it. Okay. I feel like this unintentional strategy of having short nails on one hand and long nails on the other is working <laughs> for me. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing, but... <laughs> I can't wait to get my nails back on, on again. I'm missing them. Marcy said, I get anxious when I'm down to two rolls of memo tape. Absolutely. Totally feel you there. Once we ran out in the shop and then I ran out here in the craft room and I was like, we must never let this happen ever again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. Zemra Minions, are you going to make Keenan a Valentine's Day card this year? Um, when is Valentine's Day? Is it next week? It's always the 14th. <laughs> um... I I don't think it's the next week coming. I think it's the following week. Um, if I have time. However, he didn't get me one last year. That's not a good enough reason. So I don't know. Mm. I might I might be feeling petty about it. No, don't do that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, well, that's my perfect, but I. There we go. Didn't press the button down properly, so. Nothing that cannot be fixed. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know if I'm doing a Valentine's Day card. Shocking. I know. Or I could just be saying that in case he watches this. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Do you guys do presents for Valentine's Day? Well, considering I didn't get a card last year, mm, like a present would have been a big question. Think, you think that was a bit silly of me to ask? <laughs> that makes him sound like he's really heartless. No, he, <laughs> he gets me presents when he sees things that I would like sometimes. I understand that, yeah. Especially if they're Star Wars related. Oh yeah, like you got the Yoda. Yeah. And there was a, a pop vinyl that I had wanted. That I'd seen before Christmas because I took a photo of it mm -hmm. when we saw it on the shelf, and uh, I was gonna maybe see if he was under the tree, and uh, he wasn't, <laughs> and I was a bit like, oh no, all right, okay, I'll mm. buy him myself. Apparently, he was out of stock, Aww. and then 
one day I was making tea and Keenan came home and he was like, ta-da! Oh, yay! And there was my little Mandalorian! No, it was a Mandalorian. <laughs> yeah, but he was holding Grogu. Mm-hmm. Then you were happy. Yeah. All right, here's my little collection of things so far. I think I'm going to stick these on using some foam tape so I get a wee bit of dimension. So I'm going to use some um, Peppy Doodle double-sided foam strips because they're really skinny. So what I can do is take off a strip like so and then cut a little chunk of it. And add it to the back. Cute. Need to catch up. Hold on. Louise says, I use Bots of Love set to make a card for my son to give to his girlfriend. They both study computers at college. Oh, that's so cute. cute. I love this set. It's one of my faves. Um, Laura says, it's on a Monday, but two weekends away. That helps me understand it. Yes. Jasmine says, I don't make Ben a Valentine's Day art card. Uh, last year and he was really ups oh I didn't make Ben a Valentine's Day card <laughs> last year and he was rather upset about it oh he's getting one this year though which he may or may not have seen as I made it for design team purposes <laughs> I just seen Piper with her big coat on so I'm assuming she's going to go and brave the snow that is very brave it has stopped I think I think still uh, ample enough snow for a snow angel or two yeah I think Maybe not quite a snowman, but definitely a snow angel. Yeah. Um, one year we made a snowman and we called him Mr. Snow Oman. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Jasmine snowman. says you have snow. Yeah, it's been snowing pretty much for the whole live. It's just stopped. It looks very yeah. beautiful out there on the little twig trees. I noticed there's a wee note written in the snow that says, I love snow. Is there? Yeah. Ranger's getting good at his spelling. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I can't tell. I've got glue on this dot here at all. No. He does not want to stay put. Oh no. Not my doodah. We don't do Valentine's Day here in the traditional sense, but we do have a... Um, a tradition where I get some kinder eggs mm -hmm. hidden around the place. So, assuming Craig remembers, <laughs> I think there's been a few years where it's like, right, well, Valentine's Day tomorrow, and he's like, I have to go outside for a minute. I, I need to do a thing. Oh, there we go. Do you know what? I really like the shadow heffy cuts, but do I struggle with them? <laughs> Maybe we need to just make them bigger. I think I just need to get better at sticking things down and not covering myself in glue. <laughs> but it's so much fun to cover yourself in glue. I've been successful this time, but it took a while. <laughs> it took a while. That's okay. Aww. Oh, it's glittery. I used the glittery sprayer most of them. Right, what a shame. I know. Tragedy. Laura says, I'm more into pancakes day than Valentine's Day. Absolutely, 100%. We had this, like, revelation a little while ago because I actually am a bit of a self-confessed um, pancake queen. I love pancakes. And we will quite frequently just wake up and be like, what do you want for breakfast? Shall I make some pancakes? Okay, and just throw some pancakes together. And then, <clears throat> I think it was Piper had this revelation of you she was saying oh, we had pancakes and someone said to her well it's not even pancake day she was like yeah so and then she was chatting to her pals and some of them were saying well we only get pancakes on pancake day and this was absolutely like mind-boggling for poor piper that some people only get pancakes on pancake day I think that should be a criminal offence, actually. I think it is, actually. Agreed. My granny used to make the best pancakes. 
But we never called them. Challenge accepted! Well, we never called them pancakes, though. We used to call them bannocks. Bannock. And it's hotly contested over what they actually are. Are they drop scones? Right. Are they pancakes? Are they bannocks? What actually? So, uh, yes. It could be anything. It could be anything. They were they were really good. Jasmine says, I'm one of the ones that only ate some on pancake day. Even though I could have them any time, I seem to forget until pancake day. Oh, I love it. We literally have like, it's like I have, do we want flat pancakes? Do we want um, fluffy pancakes? Do we want French like crepes? They're, they're, it's not just a case of pancakes. It's like which variety of pancakes? And then you've got, do we want like cinnamon and oat mm. pancakes? Or do we want banana pancakes? Or yeah, all sorts of options. I'm a big fan of pancakes. We definitely need a pancake stamp set. Yes. <laughs> Laura says once a month, not once a year. I agree. <laughs> Keenan has gotten well into making pancakes, though. He he is the pancake maker in the household. I thought you were going to say the pancake king, and I was going to have no. to. No. <laughs> going to have to do something about that. He'll be offended if I because I've said no now. But <laughs> I'll just have to eat. Both people's pancakes. I know a pancake off does not sound like a terrible <laughs> idea, does it? It really doesn't. <laughs> I'm sure there's worse things. Yeah. All right, I think I need a sentiment and I'm nearly done. What sentiments are in here? Card for love, cute disorder. I think I just want a happy Valentine's Day. So maybe I have that on another set. Let me go hunting. Well, you do that. I'm dry cutting my lion. Her Natalie have braved the snow to go home. <laughs> oh, one lion. Oh, no, this day. That's not this day. Now to find the dye from the ice cream cone. Bring out the big boy for this one. I always think the little Misty is like the regular size, and then we pull out one of them like, whoa. <laughs> Whereas for me, it's like, oh, oh, faithful. This is the OG for me. Sorry, am I on your way? No, no, you're grand. Jasmine says, Lizzie, are you crafting tonight? Yes, I am hoping to craft. And I actually um, was going to say there, Jasmine, that I have been, well, last, yesterday and the day before, I've not been nauseous at all. And then it, everything was fine until my lunch did. And I got nauseous. But I will still still do a live stream hopefully i'll get away with it um so i pulled out the classic sentiments for my happy valentine's day these are definitely the kind of sentiments you're going to come to time and time again Your faithful i feel like i want to put something here i don't, I don't want husband or i don't know I don't know. Decision, decision. I know, it's hard. I feel like I should have done my uh, leopard print, my wild side stencil in a slightly different colour because I feel like he's a little bit samey. Oh no. If you wanted to, you could um, die cut another, like a darker colour of lion and then just layer it up just to make him look like he has a little bit of a shadow. Does anybody have any other ideas for Morgan? I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna stick his ice cream cone on anyway. Okay. I'm gonna have a look and see if there's anything. Uh, uh, actually, I could put bleep bloop. This is a little. Um, oh, a little uh, stamp that we had as a freebie 
He's the cutest little robot dog. Oh, that does not want to come out. We could put bloop, 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 bloop. I think that would be super cute. Yeah. Let's do it. Which scissors are these foam tape? These grey ones. I'm going to use the 12 foam tape, I think. Good for you. Let's see. Oh, that's a tiny bit too big. Jasmine says, I'm so happy I managed to get the robot dog. Yeah, he's very popular, actually. I don't think we have any of him I left. I don't think we have any of him. Which is sad. Sure, sad. Once again, struggling with the big bag. Want some help? If you use the um, I might grab the tweezers. Tweezers. This is not sticky. Stick. Would it be a happy life if I didn't struggle with it? <laughs> <laughs> you can manage absolutely fine if you're not live. Yeah, it's it's. I'm convinced that's what's going on here. <laughs> we should have a little counter in the bottom, and it was the amount of times Morgan has struggled to peel something. <laughs> yeah. Or uh, the amount of times Morgan has covered herself in glue trying to stick elements down. Or the amount of times Morgan has lost a piece of a die cut. Yeah. Yeah. Bleep bloop. Why so cute? I've upgraded to rose petals because the um, It's a Girl was not really standing out. So I think what we'll do is. I really want to add some glossy accents or, or crystal glaze to this little this love heart here. Right now. That has to be the last thing I do, so I'll mount it on a card later. There we go. Nice. And then this will dry clear and shiny. I think this looks like a level up heart. It totally it, does. You know the way you see like a heart on a computer game. But like the um the old school like Legend of Zelda hearts. Yeah. That is the game I uh, was told by a friend I had to play. And uh I have been struggling with the puzzles and some of it. Have you? Yeah. But I am enjoying it. I'll get there eventually. Alright, I'm going to give you guys a close-up of my card for today. You have a nice stencil background using the Love Circuit uh, on top of some oyster shell with some uh, bubblegum blush in the background. A little bit of ink blending to create a, a ground for him to stand on. And then, of course, my cute little robot from the Box of Love. Paired with a Happy Valentine's Day sentiment from the Classic Sentiment. I also used the um, Sweet Scout Slim Line dies for my background. And over with you. But I have got... Ta -da -da -da. Oh, come on. Is that good? No. Try again. There we go. <gasps> no, Ta-da! I've got my wild side stencil mm -hmm. background. I have ink blended and splattered. I have got my happy birthday shadow heffy cup. And I have my little lion from the adorable lion. Awesome! Yeah. Looking really cool. Loving it. All right, let's put ours together. And refocus. Ta da! So that is everything from us. I feel like you're probably going to end up putting some sequins on that because this one's obsessed with sequins, aren't you? Oh, I was thinking. I was thinking some of the nouveau. Oh, the little the little dots. 
yeah that'd be really good shout you should do it now before you go because um then it'll dry over the weekend yeah. mm -hmm. well i hope you had fun with us for our live thank you so much for joining us we've had fun having you um, if you didn't catch the message at the front at the start of our stream we just wanted to remind you that we are going to be partaking in the Cardmaker Success Summit which is a four day, four day free event yeah. and you can join lots of card makers and watch their presentations and hang out with people there's a Facebook group are you on the Facebook group? I am on the Facebook group yeah and it's fun and there's lots of chitter chatter on there to get oh, yeah. us all excited which is really good have a lovely weekend and um, if you're interested in that card maker success summit please come over to our instagram or our blog or our shop there's click there's links there there's like a pink banner isn't there yeah. on the shop um, any of those if you click on it, it'll take you where you need to go we'll also after the stream go back in and update it in the notes below so if you are watching on replay you might be able to click the link down there as well Thank you so much. We'll now just leave you with the graphics so you can see that um, information about the Cardmaker Success Summit. Um, and also there is a, a an upgraded section where you can pay a fee to get even more content. And I can't even tell you how much more you're going to get because there's so much. But when you get over there and register for free, you can make your decision of whether you want to go for the, uh, the paid um, all access pass. From reports it's really worth it yeah but you make your own decision all right guys happy crafting bye, bye.